everyone, it's me, Noah Mihai on The Ark of Truth, and I finally managed to get my my new mic to be set up, as you can obviously hear, and so is my soundboard. So everything is working good, and before I get into this video, I would like to say thank you so much, you guys, for your suggestions. This has helped, helped the channel to grow, and it wouldn't be the same without you guys. Now, I am planning on doing some kind of rebranding, probably even change the name, for example, but that's going to be in the far future. I don't know when exactly, but again... Far future, do not expect anything to happen at this moment. So, let's get into this video. Now, as I'm making this video on the Friday, specifically August 23rd, yesterday was when Kamala Harris was basically crowned the nominee for the Democratic Party in the 2024 election. But that's not really what people are talking about right now. I mean, don't to be fair, there is definitely some mainstream media attention, but there is more attention on the fact that Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has decided to drop out of the race, or more accurately, suspend his campaign. More and he is suspending his campaign specifically within battleground states. That means in states in Arizona, Nevada, the Rust Belt states, North Carolina, Georgia, and I would not be surprised, even Virginia. That means that all that those votes who were originally going for RFK are now potentially going to go to the two either other candidates. More likely than not, it's going to go to Donald Trump. In fact, according to a very a recent Fox News poll, when it came to RFK voters, they said that if RFK were to drop out and endorse Trump, 47% of them said that they were going to go and vote for Trump. While about 25 or 27%, I, I can't remember uh, the number, but it was within the mid-20s range, would rather vote for Harris. Now, of course, there were definitely those that remained undecided or uncommitted, at, which, uh, okay, that does happen. But nonetheless, that is a substantial number. That is half of the base that RFK has. And the fact that he was, pull, um, he was pulling in... Uh, more votes from Donald Trump kind of speaks how big of a volume this is. He could potentially be a major game changer within these battleground states and prevent Harris from actually ascending to the presidency. Now, this was not this is not new news to me in, in my own personal opinion because uh, or, uh, about two three days ago, Nicole Shanahan, who is uh, RFK Jr.'s VP pick, said on a podcast that they were in that RFK was in talks with Donald Trump to potentially unite their forces to prevent Harris from becoming president. Which, it, it's like, let's be completely honest here. This was a major tell that RFK was going to go and endorse Donald Trump. He was going to, they were going to combine forces. But, but it, it, it was a, a matter of when, in all honesty. And the, but the fact that they decided to, or more specifically, RFK, decided to do this on the Friday, the day after Kamala Harris was going to be, um, was going to be crowned, speak, gives, gives uh, RFK, as well as Donald Trump, more media attention and prevent an, a surge as a result of the Democratic National Convention. Now, here's the thing. During the DNC or even the RNC, there is a temporary surge. That, is, that tends to be normal at, because that's when a lot of people, a lot of voters, partisan voters, are enthusiastic about their candidate or they try to coalesce behind him or her in this case. <coughs> now, I just want, want to say something specific. We have not seen anything like that in regards to Kamala Harris. Now, there's a good reason for that because she was announced after Joe Biden basically was forced to drop out. She was announced to be the front runner for president by, by the Democrats. I mean, after all, it was Joe Biden who endorsed Kamala Harris, but, but I would not be surprised if it were to throw a wrench into uh, the Democrats from, from actually coming to an open primary as a big F you to them. But although in my honest opinion, considering have how little time there was, I didn't think that there was going to be a possibility of that anyway. I, I think Kamala Harris would have uh, become the nominee either way. But I, I'm digressing. 
the result of the change and the fact that her name was going to be out there was what got her a lot of attention. And the fact that she was out that in spite of the fact that she was is the VP under Joe Biden, she was kind of out there. Or, well, she was, take it back, she stayed behind the scenes most of the time, except for the time of being the border czar. So people just kind of thought that, well, this is going to be some generic Democrat that we're probably going to vote for. And that's why she was got, why she was kind of searching the polls. Although there is the issue of other polls intentionally push pulley, such as the oversampling of Democrats, for example. But I'm digressing on that point. The fact is that the surge occurred earlier than usual as a result of this, and now it is winding down. Yet, and yet, and that, and that's the reason why we're not really seeing much of a bump for Kamala Harris. Now, it still remains, especially with embedding odds, that uh, that it's a coin flip at this point in time with Kamala Harris or Donald Trump winning the presidency, and it's a tight race within within the battleground states. Although in most of them, it looks like Donald Trump has been re remains leading the polls. But except except for Michigan at this time, we're going to need to have some more new polls, considering the fact that RFK is now suspending his campaign. By the way, I just want to make make something clear. RFK is removing his name from the ballot in the battleground states, not in hardcore red red states or blue states. You can still vote for him there. Just want to, want to let you guys know. And But from what I got, especially considering the fact that um, RFK has been treated so badly by the Democrats for several months. It, it, hell, don't as Donald Trump was dealing with his own litigation issues, he RFK was trying to put himself on the ballot. He was trying to reach several several thousand um several thousand uh, signatures, and that's just within a single state. And of course, he had to deal with the fact that the DNC tried to lodge litigation against him to prevent him from being on the ballot. This is a, this is there was a simple there was a litigation very recently within the state of Pennsylvania that ruled against him actually, which I would not be surprised further contributed to uh, RFK deciding to say screw you Democrats. And, hell, he even went so far within his dropout speech that where, where he just dissed on the Democratic Party, not just on the fact of being big farmer pro-censorship, but also with the fact that they they claim to be a part the party of democracy, and yet they intentionally installed their own candidate without the voice of the people, and they prevent people like RFK from being on the ballot. Hell, he even mentioned the litigation that Donald Trump has been going through. So here's the thing. <coughs> what is this going to change? Uh, it's going to be pretty significant. Don't get me wrong. There's definitely going to be a lot of voters who are going to vote for RFK who are inevitably going to send this one out, which is to be expected in some cases. But a good good portion, again, uh, are definitely going to go towards Donald Trump. According to a Fox News poll, 47% of those RFK voters we're going to, we'll vote for Donald Trump should RFK drop out and endorse him while 27%, give or take, decided to go for Kamala Harris. That is a two to one advantage. And considering the fact that there was a recent poll in Virginia where only Kamala Harris was up by three points, where it's within striking range, potentially. That could be a be a major decider on whether or not not only does Donald Trump gain not only does Donald Trump obtain most of the battleground states, if not all, he could potentially flip a state like Virginia. It's it's not for certain, but nonetheless, it's possible at this time. And this has got this has got um Kamala Harris and her campaign frustrated because they were counting on um RFK to stay on the ballot or to at least a certain extent to at least. At least draw votes away from Donald Trump. He, RFK was originally doing more of this with Joe Biden, but again, Joe Biden dropped out. Kamala Harris is, is the new face. But I, I'm digressing on that point. Now she has to deal with the fact that there are two other candidates that, while admittedly 
do not has to have as much appeal as uh, RFK, they're still going to be a thorn in the side of Kamala Harris because she is a leftist. The two other candidates, like Jill Stein and Cornell West, are also leftists, and they're going to probably be seen as another potential, uh, as another potential um, alternative at, at, compared to someone like Kamala Harris. So that's going to be a major, major thorn in her side. How much is to be determined in all honesty? But right now, this art, this the fact that RFK has finally decided to drop out and is now going to is now going to join forces with Donald Trump. It's a major boom for for Trump to potentially win the White House. And if he does, well, let's just say I would not I would not be surprised if RFK gets a position in in within the cabinet. And if even if not in the cabinet, somewhere like maybe the FDA or I don't know, director of central intelligence agency. But who knows? That that that's more of a more of a future uh, prospect that right now it's n right now we c are still having to deal with. We're still having to deal with the fact that RFK just dropped out and but and may potentially help w help Donald Trump win. Is it a guarantee? Absolutely not. But it's still no less a game changer. With RFK on Trump's side, he could get more votes and may prevent. Harris from missing the presidency. My name is Noah Mihai on the York Truth. Please post your comments down below or direct to the mystery. <coughs> also, if you have any issues regarding how, how, what I should improve or anything whatsoever, please post it in the comment section down below or directly message me. Thank you. Mm -hmm.